Hey guys, welcome back. So today is day five and the final day of my swim week here on my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. It's been a lot of fun and actually kind of stressful to put together, so I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but today we're trying out ASOS or ASOS or I don't know how you say it. It's a British like retailer, but you can like get it all over the world, I think. Um, British people say like ASOS. I Asus? Ace, Ace sauce? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I've spent way too much time trying to figure this out. But that's what we're trying out today. So I've tried a bunch of different fragrances I've never ordered from this retailer before. So I wasn't really sure how this was going to work out. Um, I will say that they had a wide variety of types of bathing suits, a wide variety of sizes. They had brands that had like um, fuller bust options, which I love. Um, and I, there's a lot of options, so I really enjoyed that fact. Um, I also noticed that pretty much all of the tops were in bra sizes, which I think is freaking awesome because, like, we know what our bra size is, right? And that's pretty universal, so I thought that was really, really cool. It makes the process much, much easier. However, I still couldn't get it right, so we've definitely got some fails in this haul today. But let's just go ahead and dive right in and we'll talk about all the pieces. So the first two bathing suit tops, I actually can't even do a try on portion for because they just, they don't fit and I can't even like force them to fit just for the video, you know? So this one I was so freaking excited about. It is this absolutely gorgeous floral print bathing suit, bra style with these cute little flutters on the sleeves. I thought this was so freaking beautiful. This pattern is just to die for, honestly. So I got it in a 36 double D. Now, I am typically a 38 double D. However, I thought maybe I can make it work. This was the biggest size that they had that they offered. This brand, um, Peak and Bow. It really kind of annoyed me because, like, they had fuller bust options, but the biggest band size was a 36 on the majority of their bathing suits so I was just I find that very odd like some people just because you know like you got big boobs usually you got a big back to go with it you know so I just thought that was very odd that they most of their bathing suits only went up to like a 36 but like a big cup they all went all, all the way up to like an eye in most of them so I just thought that was super odd uh, but I went with the 36 double D hoping I could make it work and it nowhere near worked like it was probably like this far away from each other on my back like there was no way this was gonna work and these are very like not super stretchy sturdy bathing suits so it just it wasn't gonna work um I will say I love the clasp that literally all these bathing suits have they all have the exact same clasp it's so nice so high quality it's just it's really really good um it does have adjustable straps the padding is not removable but it's not massive it just adds a little bit of lift I thought it was so pretty, but it doesn't work. So the next bathing suit top that I can't show on for you guys was actually definitely a wild card for me. Um, this is like a bralette style. Um, it's from the brand Wolf and & Whistle, and I thought it was so freaking cute because it's like totally unpadded. It has this gorgeous eyelash lace detail here on the front of the cups. I just thought it was so freaking cute. Um, but nowhere near fitting. I got this in a UK 14D double D. I'm not really sure what that equates to in US sizes, but not my size, basically. Um, and this strap is the most heavy duty strap I've ever seen on a bathing suit before. Like it doesn't move. Like I'm not being dramatic, like it doesn't move. It's so thick and heavy duty. Like I would use this for like working out like resistance bands that's how tight this is so I get that they were like going for like a really like held in thing because like the front isn't super you know a lot but like this is excessive <laughs> so if you don't fit this perfectly there's no stretching into it like it just is what it is um so this was definitely a fail for me I thought it was really cute it's definitely a wild card for me and I didn't expect it to work perfectly but I couldn't even get it on, which kind of sucked. 
So the next bathing suit, I was so freaking excited about this. Um, I saw this on an Instagrammer that I follow. Her name is uh, Noelle Downing, I believe. She looked freaking unbelievable in this bathing suit. She is like body goals, honestly. So when I saw it, I was really like, I need that. So I went and found it. It's by the brand Wolf and Whistle again. Um, I got it in a 36 double D. Again, it's just the biggest size they had fan size wise. Um, they went all the way up to like an I in cup size, but fan size, it only had up to a 36. Um, this doesn't fit me, but <laughs> I'm tempted to keep it because it's so freaking bomb. I, mm, I literally had to like stuff myself into it, but oh my god, does this make me feel so freaking sexy even though it is too small? Like, I'm wondering if I could like go up a cup size and that would like give me enough room in the band to like make it not so sausagey. I might need to. It is this gorgeous royal blue swimsuit broad top with gold hardware. It's got these cute straps that go crit right across your, um, the top of your boob oh my god it's so freaking pretty i love this so much and then to go with it i did get the matching bottoms that have this super sexy cut out right on like your hip bone and it has the same gold hardware and this like a matching clip as to the back of the top oh my god this bathing suit i'm keeping the bottoms 100 percent. they're so fucking sexy um, I'm going to probably order the next size up in cup size on the top and see if I can like make it work. Otherwise, I'm just going to find a royal blue top that I can go with it. But like, oh my god, it's so, so sexy. I can't even like, y'all, this is a bomb bathing suit. I do, however, still think that it's ridiculous that it only goes up to a 36 strap. Like, what is even the point of offering fuller bust if you're just gonna go up to a 36? Like, that's insanity to me. The next bathing suit is this super cute all black one piece with these adorable scallop details on the edges. Oh my god, this is adorable. Um, I definitely need a bigger size. I got it in a 14. Yeah, or no, I got it in a US 12 C slash D. Um, I'm fairly certain that that's like the biggest cup size like it didn't go up to a double d um so the cups are definitely too small which they always are when it's like a c slash d they're usually pretty solidly a c um i would definitely need to go up to a 14 i would prefer a double d i need to go back online and see what they actually offer but i thought this was so freaking cute it's definitely that like high thigh cut so it cuts really nicely it's got the adorable scalloped edge on the like sides of your thighs so it like ties it all together oh my god it's so freaking cute my only thing i'll say about this though is the fact that inside the like mesh backing they've got this um closure strap thing that i genuinely don't know how they expect people to like connect like i genuinely don't understand like towards tops have this as well where it's like one of these bands and then an actual like back that goes over it however when it's a top you can like get under and do it when it's a one piece you can't do that and i generally don't understand how they expect people to connect this once it's all the way on unless you have like a partner that's going to go behind you and like stick their hands all down in your back it just it wouldn't work so i feel like that's pretty unnecessary but I thought this was so, so freaking cute, and I'm very tempted to try a bigger size because it's so freaking cute. The next bathing suit, oh my god, this top is to die for. This is a bright, bright red bathing suit top with this adorable mesh flutter detail on the sleeves and on the front of the cups. It does have these strings off the top of the cups that are supposed to like go around your neck and I had them done up in the video. Um, personally, I would probably just cut them off because they're not necessary to the structure of the bathing suit at all. They're just like a cute detail and it 
I said in um, the American Eagle video, I am so weird about things touching the back of my neck that this would just drive me crazy, especially since it's not necessary. So I personally, if I keep this top, we'll just cut them off because they're not, they're not doing anything. Um, but this is so freaking cute. The color, the cut, the detail on it. Oh my God. It's a tad small. I did get this one in a 38 double D. Yes. Oh, I got it in a 38 D. Um, it's from the brand Pour Moi. I'm not sure I said that right. Um, I, in a perfect world, I would probably do a 40 double D, but they didn't have that option. But in all of these, I basically just bought the biggest size I could get as close to my size as possible. So it's just what we're working with. <laughs> and then in the video of that top, I'm wearing these bottoms, which nothing on that website said that these were basically going to be a thong. These are so cute. And no, I don't need a fourth pair of high-waisted black bikini bottoms, but these are bomb. <laughs> I could probably use the next size up. What size did I even get these in? Um, a US size 10. So I could probably go for a 12, but I feel like then they might be like falling off of me. So I'll probably just keep the 10. They are basically a thong when I walk. Like there's like this much fabric covering the inner part of my butt cheeks but they're really really cute <laughs> they're real cute um again just basic black bikini bottoms but i really really like them um let's see what brand was this from this was from the uh oh just the regular asos swim line so um i guess asos asos oh i hate that name makes them um i think they're really really nice they're, they got a really nice sturdy um, waistband. Wow, that was a really hard word to get out. Um, the stitching's really nice. It's a really nice, like, thick fabric. I like them. I'm probably keeping them. So that is everything that I picked up from ASOS. Let me know down below what you think of all these bathing suits, if you tried this retailer, and if you liked Swim Week. Um, I'll definitely have everything listed and linked down below, along with my normal sizes as usual. Um, and I'll let you know in the description box what I end up keeping and what I end up like getting different sizes for and all that. But I hope you guys liked today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one.